This happened on Friday night at the Project Renewal New Providence Women's Shelter on the east side in Manhattan. And that is where Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez is live right now with details on what is known at this point. Ashley. So tonight, police know who they're looking for. What we're still trying to figure out is how a woman was murdered in a secured shelter with the sole purpose of keeping vulnerable women safe. Uh, apparently, someone was stabbed. We don't officially know if they were murdered. The Project Renewal New Providence Women's Shelter on East 45th Street in Manhattan is now the site of NYPD's latest murder investigation. Police say Friday night, just before 10, 27-year-old Victoria Good was stabbed multiple times on the sixth floor by 42-year-old Charmaine Crossman, seen here in photos captured by surveillance video at a subway station. It's not clear if she is a shelter resident or her relationship to Good. Although Good Good was rushed to the hospital. She did not survive the attack. Do you feel safe there? One shelter resident I spoke to said she saw the blood herself Friday night, but was undisturbed by the incident. Yeah, yeah, that's something personal to happen. It's nothing to do with the, with the system. But it has everything to do with New York City's homeless system, according to resident Yamani Vasquez, who's lived at New Providence for three months. She was candid about the slashing, saying she hasn't felt secure since arriving. I personally don't feel safe in this facility. It could have been me. Could have, been, could have very well been me. It's a common sentiment shared among some of New York City's homeless population who find the streets more welcoming than the housing provided by the Department of Homeless Services, which told me that on-site, around-the-clock security is provided at each site. Our shelters are not safe. They are not places where people want to live. According to new data obtained by the New York Daily News, around 70% of homeless individuals who have been moved into shelters have left within a week of being admitted. And it's understandable why there's so many people on the street because you're in a facility like this, doors don't get locked, people roam the buildings all night long, you're not safe. I sleep with one eye open, I don't sleep. We call the shelter is not commenting on this murder. Meantime, police continue to look for the suspect, Charmaine Crossman, and are asking for any tips that will get her off the streets as soon as possible. On the east side, Ashley Rodriguez, Arthur, we'll send it back to you. Hopefully that's exactly what happens. Thank you, Ashley.